All right, everybody. Good morning, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. Let's dive right into it because we've got a dynamic system heading our way. And I mean by that, a lot of impacts. This is not just going to be one impact at one time. We're going to see a multitude of impacts throughout the day. To me, number one is going to be damaging straight line winds all day into the evening. There will be a couple of areas in the middle of the day where it could be even higher, but the winds will be a big concern for everybody, every single location. You're listening to me anywhere in the Carolinas. It doesn't matter, town, location, county, everywhere, okay? Uh, the timing, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., we could see power outages because gusts could be between 40 and 60 miles per hour. Some of the guidance is going higher. Models are going over 70 mile per hour gusts. I'm not going to go quite that high, but that's the potential. Now, heavy rain on top of that, two to five inches, especially in the mountains and foothills, where we, we could have some flash flooding. Boy, you combine high winds and heavy rain, you know what that does to trees. So likely power outages with this setup. And severe storms, I even hate to say that it's the lower of all these, but it's still a medium risk. But that'll be confined to our southeast. I'll talk about our coastal areas, which could see a significant severe weather risk with this system. So let's dive right into it, because here's the system. It's off to our west. Why is it so dynamic? Well, it's got the wintertime jet stream, which, by the way, the wintertime jet stream strongest of the entire year but we're pulling in warm humid air that's a bad combination that warm air coming in is going to allow for those strong jet stream winds not only aloft but just above the surface around 5,000 feet we have something called a low level jet that could be cranking as high as 100 miles per hour now if any of that wind mixes down to the surface you get those gusts 50 60 70 miles per hour and that happens with the front with rain with thunderstorms so if you think the guidance or the model guidance is going too high with it I always like to do this simple thing, cut 30% off or 50% off on those numbers. And if it's still significant, then you know this is going to be a bad setup. And that's what we're seeing. Even if you cut these numbers in half, those are gusts to 40 miles per hour in some cases, or even 30%, you're still getting 50 mile per hour gusts. So significant wind energy with this system. Now, obviously there is a severe weather risk. We'll talk about that real quickly. I just want to show you the severe weather outlook today. You see it along the Gulf Coast tomorrow. That puts most of our area in the risk. So let me go back to my other graphics here and we'll show you the uh, tornado parameters. So for our area, it's going to be peaking around the middle of the day into the afternoon. So those areas south and east of I-85, that's where we're going to have the highest risk. But along the coast, it could even be higher. Now, I do think there's a significant power outage risk, not just because of the winds. The winds alone would be it, right? But you couple that with heavy rain, it's a horrible combination, guys. So tomorrow, if you don't charge everything up tonight, you're going to be in trouble tomorrow. Trust me. Can I tell you exactly where the power outages will be? Will everybody have power outages? No, but there will be power outages tomorrow. So if you have any worries about that or you're susceptible to power outages in your area or you need power for medical equipment or for something else, you need to plan right now. Okay, that's why this is a heads up. These aren't guarantees. These are heads up so you can prepare and not be caught off guard. In many cases, preparation doesn't cost you anything. It's just getting prepared, right? Charging your phone doesn't cost you anything. Having a battery backup, putting the water in a certain location, just doing these things, planning ahead, it's pretty easy to do. Here's the timing. So if everybody wants the timing, I'll drop in the corner here uh, to kind of make it easier. You could see the multitude of impacts and notice how they don't all line up. I mean, the winds start in the morning and go well into the evening. The power outage risk escalates as the day goes on. Severe weather risk peaks in the middle afternoon, early evening, and then the flood threat slowly ramps up throughout the day. So this is going to be one of those days where we'll see a multitude of impacts. How much rain? Significant, right? I said two to five inches. Some areas could see more. Again, these numbers, they're not going to be exactly right. Uh, when I show you these, these aren't, we're not that good at being this specific. It's just like snow. Can't tell you exactly how much is going to fall in your yard. Look for the range. You see all these areas Everybody here is in that three to four inch range. So that should give you an idea, man, that's going to be some significant rainfall tomorrow. Now, the severe weather risk, we'll get back to this tornado risk. Now, you see this hatched area. I think everyone understands the colors and the numbers. That's the chance of seeing a tornado within 25 miles of any point on the map. When you see that black hatched, and what I mean by hatch are these black lines, that's the Storm Prediction Center saying to you that's a significant risk area. And for tornadoes, that means the chance of EF2 tornadoes are higher. So not only do we have a 10% chance of tornadoes in that red area, they could be significant tornadoes of EF3 or higher. Winds, obviously, everybody's under a wind advisor and high wind warnings. Don't be surprised if high wind warnings are extended tomorrow or even the rare extreme wind warning, 
which is for just straight line winds not associated with a thunderstorm. You might see some of those tomorrow. Uh, here's a quick look at the timing. This is for Charlotte specific, but really kind of most of the Piedmont. You see the gust or the top line, the bottom line are sustained. So you see the front comes through sometime in here, and that's when we see our peak gust. So right now, you know, peak gust around 50, but it's not just for an hour. It may be for several hours of peak winds tomorrow afternoon. Now, damaging winds. This is not associated with the straight line winds. This is associated with thunderstorms, okay? So you've got two types of wind tomorrow, just the winds with the cold front and the low pressure, and then you have thunderstorms, right? So the thunderstorm wind threat, there's also a hatched area, which does include the Charlotte area for significant wind gusts. So if we get a squall line, a line of thunderstorms coming in tomorrow, there could be up to 75 mile per hour wind gusts within the line of storm. So as I mentioned, wind is going to be a huge, huge deal tomorrow. So you've got to be ready for this setup. There's a look at the flash flood risk tomorrow. Everybody's in the medium risk, but you see the higher risk in the mountains and foothills. And then last but not least, let's get into our future cast. So let me drag my head over here. We'll go through time here. So three o'clock in the morning. Oh, oh, by the way, I didn't even mention there's going to be a little bit of ice at the beginning of this in the mountains. Uh, I mean, it's like it's probably the least of our concerns, but just a heads up. That will not be great for the power outages either, either if we get a little bit of ice up there, but it will not last long. Trust me, it'll be very similar to, to Saturday's event in and out and just go on. So we go through time. Look at all the heavy rain, five, six, seven o'clock in the morning. It's going to be pouring all day. So I'm getting a lot of questions about schools and cancellations. It's all day, folks. <laughs> Don't send people out and then say, oh, we're going to make a decision in the middle of this. If that was me, if I'm making decisions, don't do anything. If if you want to, if you're worried about the weather tomorrow, go ahead and make that decision before it gets here because it, it, you might as well just keep people where they are once this thing hits because getting on the roads the, the last thing you want to do. Um, so we go through time. You see this uh, the thunderstorms. So the thunderstorm line right around midday. So this is noon. I'm gonna grab my cursor here. You could see there's some kind of squall line, like a thunderstorm line. So this is where you get the chance of severe, but also that chance of 75 mile per hour wind gusts. So look at the time up above my head. That's the time of this right around the middle of the day. Now, is it going to be exactly 12? No, plus or minus a couple hours. So it could be as early as 10 or 11, could be as late as two or three, but it kind of gives you the rough estimate of the timing. And then see that moves through Charlotte closer to one. So that's why there's a little wiggle room because the timing of this is going to be a three or four hour window. And then behind the front, the winds are still very, very strong, but they should subside by late evening. So I said 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. or 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. You can see by about eight or nine, things will start to calm. It's still going to be windy, trust me, but they won't be the crazy winds. And yeah, that is snow moving in on the backside of this system. So again, we'll come back to the weather aware. We want you to stay weather aware tomorrow. What can you do today? Start planning. Secure things around your house charge everything up have battery backups be prepared for power outages if you have any kind of issues with power or you need power for something make sure you're thinking about that try not to be outside in the middle of the day if you can um, if you can stay inside or stay in your spot until the worst winds pass we'll have you covered i will be posting updates all night tonight through tomorrow morning we'll have you covered but again please stay weather aware on tuesday we'll have more information and i'll even post more information over the next 24 hours